Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed and today I'm going to show you a really simple mono print technique using scrim. Now we have this scrim on the Hand Printed website. Usually you would use it for cleaning up intaglio plates before inking, but we're going to take a small piece of this and we're going to print with it so we can get all that lovely fibrous weave texture. Now we actually made this project for a blog a few years ago and um, it's been really popular. We always get lots of questions about it and we have it on Pinterest as well and it's one of our most popular um, pinned images is this printed. So I wanted to show you exactly how it's done. We're going to be using Akua Intaglio ink, piece of scrim, a plate and a roller. I'm also going to be printing it through the etching press to get the best detail. I'm going to print it onto Snowden paper. Here's how it's done. So here I have a glass slab. You can use a plastic inking plate if you like to roll out my ink. And I also have a sheet of Perspex. You can use a piece of dry point plastic and we sell it on the website if you want to. You just want a piece of smooth plastic. Now this is one we use for mono printing a lot. So we already have a rectangle drawn on it, but you don't need to do that. We're going to mask off a rectangle section in the middle. So if you haven't got lines drawn, you can just place the plastic over the top of a cutting board or a grid or even just a template underneath to make sure it gets nice and square. So now I have a rectangle masked off on my plate. This is where I'm going to put my ink. You can go as big or as small as you want and in any dimensions that you like to suit your paper. I'm using Akua Intaglio ink. This is a great ink for mono printing because it's very workable. You can easily wipe it and get all sorts of texture into it. So it doesn't just have to be used for intaglio work. So here I have a nice evenly coated roller. I'm using a six inch Hawthorne roller, which has a little bit of softness, which makes it great for rolling out even layers of ink. And I'm going to fill in this area on my plate. Then remove my masking tape. And now I should have a nice evenly inked area, rectangle on my plate. You don't want it to be too wet and sticky, you just want a reasonably even area. It doesn't matter too much if it's not completely even, but a good coverage is perfect. So now I need to prep my piece of scrim. So I have here a cut rectangle of scrim. It's unused scrim, so it doesn't have any ink or anything on it already. But if you want to, you could use some scrim that you've already used. You'll get interesting results if you do that. And I just want to make it a little bit more textured. So I'm going to pull out some of these end threads just to fray the edges. Okay, so it's, it's pretty tricky to see, but you can hopefully see there that I've frayed the edges all the way around. Now you can leave it like this if you want to, or you can rough it up a little bit more. I'm quite fond of the textured look, so I'm just going to rough it up even more. I'm going to pull at it to move those threads around. You can manipulate them. I'm going to rough up my edges and, my, and more, even my corners, just to get extra texture in there, just to see what it can do. Here we go, so I've got lots of texture in there, it's really roughed up. You can do this however you like. I think I'm going to stop here before I get carried away. That seems about right to me. So here I have my Abig etching press. I've got it set up with a blanket and some sheets of newsprint underneath just to protect my blanket from any ink. My plastic goes down, ink side up. My scrim then lays on top. Then I have a piece of dry Snowden A4 paper here. Now you want your etching press to be nice and tight to get the most of that texture. Okay, so this is the first print. What I've got here is the ink from the plate and then the scrim has been used as a mask. So this is all fully filled in. 
I've got my lovely edges here, but the rest is solid white. So this is my first print. This isn't really the print I'm going for for this process, but it's sort of a means to an end. But it is quite interesting in itself, or you could use it as part of a multi-layered piece. Now here's what I'm more interested in. I've got my plastic here with the scrim really stuck to it. And I'm gonna get two interesting prints hopefully from this. But to do that, I need to peel away my scrim. And now you might be able to see here, although it's very tricky on film, that I've got really interesting texture starting to happen from that scrim on my plate. I also have red scrim. So for my next print, I'm going to use my plate exactly as it is, just put paper on top of it and take the print from this. And this is where it starts to get interesting. Hopefully you'll be able to see that I've got some really nice texture from that scrim on here. You can see all those frayed edges. So this is where the ink was left behind on the plate where it's masked by the scrim. You've got the areas where the scrim was pushed into it. And then the little bit of residual red around the edges from the last print. So for my last print in the series, I'm actually not going to use the inky side of this at all. I'm turning it over and using the back. Now this is important to make sure that you have newsprint down and make sure that this isn't the inky side, make sure that this side is clean. And then I'm going to place my scrim on top, ink side up. So it's got a white side and a red side. I want red side up. Snowden paper on top. And here we have a print that is just the scrim. So tricky to get it in focus, but we've got all those lovely thread lines at the edges, those areas of disturbed weave, some really great detail. And just with that one inking, we end up with three prints all from the same inking and the same piece of scrim. I think I like that one best, but they've got some really interesting texture there. Have a go at home. You can use all sorts of different textures as well. You don't have to stick to scrim, but it works really well inking, it, inking your fabric up through the press against an inked plate. Then you can experiment with layering and all kinds of different textures. You can find the scrim, the presses, the paper, the ink, the inking plates, dry point plastic, all over at handprinted.co.uk. Happy printing.